I think CHH is um, sometimes can be like behind the curve sometimes and just the representation of Latinos um, like isn't there, you know what I mean? Um, for whatever reason, it could be because it's a smaller pool of artists, right? So that means that there's a small, there's a smaller uh, demographic of, of Latinos. Right. So it's good to see when, when there's something that, you know, represents us, you know, um, you know, whether it's Tommy or what up RG or whomever it is, you know what I mean? Right. Um, shout out to cross movement. You know what I mean? One of the, you know, pioneers of CHH, you know, um, they definitely had, you know, a Latino had a Puerto Rican, you know, in, 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 in the crew, you know, but aside from that, I really can't think of anybody. We talking like 20 years ago. So from tw it's been you know, 20 years. Well, you know, what's crazy is that Vico C yeah. dropped an album, a Christian album. Yeah. Before Cross Movement. Right. Hmm. Cross Movement dropped in 97. Not, like the first Cross Movement album was in 97. Yeah. Yeah. Vico C dropped. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't Aquel Cabe It was the the first Christian. I forget. I forget the name, but it was in '96. Okay. So technically, Puerto Rico and hey, hey, let's not, go. I'm not saying anything. You might have to fact check, but you know, say Vico C, el papa, <laughs> el papa de los pollitos, yeah. <laughs> el padrino de CHH, el papa de los pollitos, papi. <laughs> Put some respect on that name, son. 